hey youtube what's going on lionheart here and on today's video i want to talk about scoring in phantom pain cage and share my scores for the first week which placed me at number one from north america on the game's release or at least i hope i guess there's still about five hours left uh, anyway if this video helps you at all be sure to subscribe and enable alerts for future content okay phantom pain cage is a competitive pve mode in punishing gray raven you will fight bosses and be scored on three metrics damage dealt time left and health remaining the first one damage dealt is fairly easy as you only need to defeat the boss to earn 100 percent of the points similarly the third one health remaining simply requires you to learn the boss's move set and evade accordingly most good players will be scoring 100 percent in both of these categories although don't feel bad if you're not scoring 100 percent now it takes a little bit of practice and i know what you're thinking lionheart what about the hell difficulty where you take damage over time listen that's where bringing a healer like Liv can be very useful though you can also just lose some points here and probably be okay if you score well elsewhere by the way just so you know placing rank one this week i did not bring live in any of my hell clears and i only had one for musashi and i was fine so it's not a requirement at least now but as players get stronger and start to figure out how to play better uh it may be so you'll have to see all right and this brings me to the last and most important metric for scoring the one that's going to separate the really good players from everybody else and that is time left your time left score is a measurement of three things how well you play your character strength and luck you can improve this score through practice and progression but the luck component requires patience someone who gets the right orbs may be able to use their core passives their qtes which is quick time events where you have somebody come in they help you and then they jump out and other benefits on their characters more often that's going to greatly increase clear speed and therefore score you may need to play no joke for several hours to achieve the best orbs and even when you do a single mistake can mess up the entire run trust me i made quite a few this is why you should set a scoring goal for yourself and never save below that score unless you are out of time for the day a few additional tips before i move to my scores for this first week first make sure you have useful support memories on your off characters some good examples include Einsteina, who reduces elemental resistance, Da Vinci, who buffs your active character and can trigger a double QTE at four set, Catherine, who reduces physical defense, and Philippe II and Guinevere, who both buff your active characters when they're healed. These can greatly improve your score on time left, and you don't need to do a deep EXP investment in them to get those benefits, right? Those are set benefits. Obviously, the investment will be nice for improving the strength of that character and survivability should you need to switch, but, but just activating those set bonuses can really improve your clear speed. Also, bring characters that you feel have good QTE skills, um, such as A. Karanina, who can group enemies together with her QTE. And lastly, as I shared on other videos, make sure to separate your best characters and only use them on the most difficult stages so you don't run out of entries and ruin your total score. Here's what I was able to score on the first week of global release. These scores will continue to improve each week as my other characters become stronger. I'm not sharing these to flex, but rather so you can have a benchmark for what the quote unquote best was on the first week. I'm sure lots of players will be competing more heavily in the weeks that follow, and I don't necessarily expect to achieve rank one again. Still, it was cool to do it once, and I figure that alone warrants a short video. Uh, again, hopefully nobody passed me in the next uh, few hours. If you enjoyed the content, please like and leave a comment below. Also, a big thanks to everyone who is new to the channel for subscribing and supporting me. I've really had fun making these Punishing Grey Raven videos, and I look forward to making more content in the future. Until then, have fun, and I'll see you on the next Punishing Grey Raven video.